all here at uh, 8.04. Uh, Mr. Ross will not be in attendance this morning. Um, seeing no public, we can dive right in. First action item is the I recommend to accept a donation from Bimbo Bakeries. It's a six thousand dollar um, contribution for playground improvements at Brookside Elementary. Ken's group obviously is involved. Any questions on specifics? Anything fun and exciting to tell us about a playground? Ken? Um, there were. It would include two Gaga pits. Some soccer goals and then some toys in the lawn, or two, depending on the pricing, we get small spring toys that we have. What's a Gaga pit? A Gaga <laughs> pit, it's like an octa oct 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 octagon, yeah. octagonal, I don't know, octagon, <laughs> wooden pit that they put, uh, kids play a, a kind of a dodgeball game. It's really popular. Oh. Put badgers in them sometimes. <laughs> 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 And, and uh, f uh, just for the record, I, I'm pretty sure that that corporation has a strong preference that their name be pronounced Bimbo. Uh, if that's the bread company. <laughs> it is. Bimbo. They say that on their Bimbo. bags. They explain yeah. how to pronounce it. Bimbo. Kinda and like thank you, Bimbo. Yes, Gracias, you, Bimbo. Uh, <laughs> kind of like one of my favorite singers is a guy whose name is pronounced Bruce Coburn. And he's very clear about that because it's spelled C-O-C-K-B-U-R-N. It's Coburn. <laughs> All right. Is there uh, is there any uh, a motion to approve the, this donation from Bimbo Bakeries? Yes. So moved. Support. All right. Those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you. Uh, warm, safe, and dry. Um, in your packet is our memo and there are two documents uh, for the warm, safe, and dry update. What we're looking for, we do this semi-annually, bring you the list updated. So the the large document that's um, got the, the listings of all projects on it is updated with additional projects and corrected estimates. Uh, what we are looking for uh, a recommendation to the full board is for a recommended list and the projected in 1617 list. The intent then is if a project in 1617 becomes an emergency, we would have the uh, ability to advance it. But uh, the other sheet, uh, I put in a single sheet with recommended project list for this summer. Uh, you'll see that uh, not everything has a dollar amount. Some things we were considering we backed off from. Uh, the total listing is about 3.6 million. This includes our uh, construction manager's costs. It includes a significant contingency and AE fees. Uh, so these are the ones we would be focusing on for this summer. Now just so we're clear, the AE fees are for everything? I mean, that's how you grouped them out? We would identify, it is a budget amount. We would identify which projects need AE and whatever the fees they would come out of that. And I assume our construction, I mean, that's part of our construction manager's job is to do um, um, uh, request for proposals for those folks too, no, right? We, we would do that ourselves. We, we do, we, okay. Alex and I will do that. Um, they'll be working with us. We've, we've done that. We have that down to the science now. And we do it based on project need. Now, some things, if uh, it's small and they have an AE they work with, and we can utilize that, then we go ahead. Questions or anything? No, we were warned it was going to be a like, yeah. big packet today with this. Um. Is there a, uh, any, a motion to uh, advance the uh, recommendation list to the full board? So moved. Support. Uh, those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Carries. Thank you. Uh, the last action item then is the purchasing agenda, which is just one item on there. It's a uh, support for preschool programs, early childhood early childhood programs to the Cat Intermediate School District at 33758 Recommend that be advanced. Approved. I have one question. Sure. Um, so early childhood is technically, oh, it's obviously our program, but uh, it's really an ISD-based program, right? Three and under is early childhood. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But yeah, preschool programs, we actually 
take care of ourselves, although the rest, pretty much the rest of the intermediate school districts work through ISD. But yes, this is earlier than that. Mm -hmm. It's an ISD um, managed program. It's just sort of logistics, but then uh, part of our funding, I'm just trying to sort of bring this out and in terms of like legislative platform and things that we've discussed. So this, we're spending this money, the ISD won't reimburse us, but this would be some of this last, um, oh, what are those crazy dollars called that they, I mean. Lapse dollars? Lapse dollars, yeah. Uh, ultimately, this is sort of within that realm of the money that we are not getting adequately reimbursed for. Am I, I'm not the, trying, the I'm not criticizing. The dollars related to the internet. Uh, yeah, but you think, I mean, well, most for of an the, early childhood those, those, those lapse dollars yeah. relate primarily, in fact, exclusively to special education programs. Okay. This, is, this is different. This is really different kind of funding source. And, ISD, yeah. uh, though, the, generally gets this money and it's a it sort comes of a to them pass directly, through. right? Yeah. Okay. So, to put the question another way, how do we get paid back for this? How do we get paid back for it? Right. How are, how are, we paid back? Where are the funds? No, it is a, it's, it's a, we're contracting with the ISD. Right, this, is our, ISD this is our dollars program, to contract so. the ISD to provide these services for us so we don't have to house them. Is that and where do the funds ultimately come from then? The general funds. So we are spending money on early childhood, mm -hmm. our are. money. We are. Okay. Right. There's no more discussion. Is there a motion to uh, approve the purchasing of the uh, early childhood services? So moved. Support. All right. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, the updates, November financial statements are part of your, your packet there. Um, again, if things continue to move along as expected or we're still in a situation where we've got had more revenue in, obviously, from tax payments than we have spent so far, but uh, we're moving along. We will be preparing and have available next month uh, our budget amendment some of the changes that have occurred. The big one, of course, is the compensation adjustments that were made and approved by, by you folks earlier um, this year. That'll come forward in uh, in January, but as of, as of now, things are, are moving along as, as expected. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary, if you will, through the first five months of our fiscal year. Any questions uh, for Larry about uh, financial statements? Safe and dry one more time. Yeah. <laughs> it up for any questions. We're wrapping up last summer's projects. Really the only thing that's still out there is the roofing projects that are further along. And we met last week to give them a deadline of this Friday to be complete. If they don't, we'll finish the jobs charge. But other than that, we're, our, our goal is then to financially wrap up everything and then coordinate with the business office and make sure our Dollar numbers don't match, and we close them out. I have one sort of clarification point. Uh, can you um, speak about this wood chip issue? I just wonder. Um, uh, From the last meeting, I there was think, a concern. Right, of, in terms and we have to buy the special wood chips, right? That's the deal. Just to make, since this I is think the special TV, exactly. wood chips yeah. have nothing to do with warm, safe, and dry, so it's separate oh. funding. Sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, the wood chip issue is we. There's two kinds of wood chips that we can buy. What you would think of as our standard wood chip, what you could buy for your yard, that we can put around landscaping. Mm -hmm. The wood chips for playgrounds are really called a, we call it fiber. It is a much different, it's, it has specifications for size, shape, density, compression, or safety mm -hmm. issues. I'm not exactly familiar with what the city makes available free. I, it looks it looks like small trees. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It's it's fine if you're if you really really want something for free. It, that's what it's worth. You get what you pay for. Um, you wind up with small sticks in it. It uh, leaves intersperse through it. I mean, it looks like you took a bush and stuffed it through a shredder, and then you get it in a bag. It's, it's what they it's just recycled yard waste material. Yeah. My other thought would be typically that's made available free to homeowners, not to a larger entity like ourselves, but Whether it is a, it is different than what would go on a playground, certainly. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what we were asking for was for additional fiber for playgrounds. For playgrounds, so right, exactly. Mm -hmm. 
the safety issue was in play was accurate. Mm -hmm. Right. Now mm -hmm. that being said, it's probably I would I would suggest that you look into. It sounds to me like maybe we have potentially three categories for wood chips. One would be playgrounds. One would be cosmetically important areas like the front of Innovation Central, right under the bushes there, where everyone's driving by, and this is our showcase place. And then the other place would be where you're just talking about weed suppression. You know maybe around your dumpsters out behind the building where nobody nobody's really looking at it. And that third category might be somewhere to look at really low grade mulch. You know, if it's getting cafeteria food spilled on it all the time, we have to periodically scrape it up and throw it away every three months. I mean, I don't, I just know there are some places where mulch is literally for vegetation suppression, not cosmetics. And there you might use the, the small bushes that are free from the city. We'll, we'll talk to the city and, and investigate the parameters and follow up. Any other questions about uh, warm, safe, and dry? Yeah, sorry. I just no, no. Thought, uh, no that's, that was a good follow-up because that was, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. It's mm -hmm. absolutely good. I think mm -hmm. it's, there's, room to, there's room to think about where to use that third category, but not, not underneath. And, and being uh, very uh, careful and clear that we do. Yeah. I mean, there are. But not underneath the swing. No way. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't have any other questions, sorry. Policy questions. Uh, Trevelyan is not here, so. She just texted me that she has the flu. So oh, she okay. was intending to be here, but mm. things happen. There's, that's going around right now. Mm. Um, uh, I think that's about it for the agenda. Does anyone else have anything they need, nope. need or want to talk about? All right. Thank you for being our chair. Oh, we'll, we'll miss you. Uh, good luck. Right. Well, in, typ in typical chair fashion, we're out of here in 15 minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for You, you do here. run an efficient meeting, Jen. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh. Well, sense and fill in the hour. So that's all we can.